if you are a J aspirant who is stressed for 2026 or in the panic mood, today I'm going to show you some magic which is going to create a miracle in your life. If you have searched for high weightage topics for J 2026, you might have seen videos and articles and many a times you have just found disappointment. But today, I'm going to prove it to you otherwise. Yes, with proof. Because I'll tell you most of the articles or videos available online, they are not topics, rather they are chapters. Second thing, many a times it is not even back tested, meaning whether it actually works or not, nobody knows. Whether can you get such a high percentile, not tested. Number three, you would see that the weightage of physics, chemistry and mathematics usually is given equal, which is a wrong strategy. Because every subject has its own plus and minus. So you will have to think actually how much of it is relevant for scoring high percentile. Not based on learning, but based on marks. Also, many a times I have seen that students do not realize what is actually important in a chapter and end up studying the whole thing, which creates a huge backlog and also lowers the confidence. Today, that is about to change because your Captain Shreyas is here with a thorough research. And that is why you should be subscribed on the number one J English channel, which is your Vedantu J English. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do that. If you have not yet liked or hyped the video, please do that for not just me, but for you. I am the physics master teacher on the Vedantu J English channel, training kids for the past 13 plus years, producing top two digit ranks, not just in means, but in advanced and producing innumerable results for IITs, triple IITs, NITs, BITs, and so much more. So today is your turn. Now, we all know we barely have less than 100 days, hardly two and a half months in this uh, month from November to January end. The dates are already declared by NTA. And in this limited period of time, you might have prelims or pre-boards if you are a 12th student. And if you are a dropper, already you have so much of pressure. Guys, my dear students, you cannot literally cover literally everything in this limited time. That is foolish. You should be smart and you should be super efficient. With minimum input, can I have maximum output? Because your goal right now is not covering the syllabus. Your goal right now is to plan, to strategize, to practice, to learn only that which can give you marks percentile. That time for learning is gone long time back. And trust me, a lot of people apply this strategy and do very well. But only if you're smart enough, you'll apply this strategy. And I believe since you're watching that video, you are actually smart. So my dear warriors, what is the safe score? See, if you have to qualify for J advance to be eligible, so you need to, you know, get a set score. You should clear J means. I am expecting it to be around 94 percentile this time based on the competition, number of registrations which will be and the difficulty and the trends which we have observed. So that gives us anywhere between 100 to 150. 150 marks out of 300 if the paper or that shift is easy, 100 if the shift is difficult. So this is bare minimum depending on the difficulty of the shift. And if you talk about 99 percentile, which will give you a good NIT, good branch. Yes, that is why you target 99 percentile. So that, you know, if you do that in the first attempt itself, right, then your tension is gone. You can then after January focus on your boards or directly for J advance. So for 99 percentile, for an easy shift, it will be around 210. And for a difficult shift, it will be around 160, 170 marks. That's your safe target score. Obviously, it can go lower. But whenever you target, you should always aim a little, a notch higher. Having said that, like I said, you cannot give equal weightages to all the three subjects. So based on the average performance and the trends, we have jotted down the following. See. For targeting 170 to 210, that is 99 percentile, I feel most of the students should score at least 30 marks to 45 marks in mathematics. That is, you have to attempt around 8 to 11 questions per se. Physics 65 to 85, usually physics is scoring 16 to 21 questions. 
and in chemistry 55 to 80 marks which is around 14 to 20 questions but yes of course for some of you if physics is hard you can lower this maybe maths is easy for you or if chemistry is easy and maths is hard then you can lower this and push this on the higher side but this is what average i have found based on the previous trends and our students performance okay so this is your subject wise targets for 99 percentile right clear smash the like button and hype this video right now because now the big thing is going to come i know i'm going to ask you how much are you really scoring in your mock tests and are you close enough to 99 percentile how much are you scoring in physics chemistry maths please put it up in the comments let the discussion be open because when you open up then you will realize you have many students just like you and you are not alone in this battle okay so please honestly answer that in the comment section so now coming to the main 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 agenda which is 131 topics which is going to give you 99 percentile and this has been done after a thorough research which i have sat down with my team to give you just these topics so let's open it up with proof of course so let's open up this particular link yep it's a proper sheet i'm going to give it to you don't worry this was analyzed for 39 shifts last two years and there were 131 high frequency high weightage topics when we saw how many questions are coming per shift it was around 49 to 50 questions per shift which translates to 196 to 200 marks that's insane guys from these 131 topics you are getting 196 200 marks which is obviously close enough to 99 percentile is that right everyone now comes the catch now look at it this is basically your physics then you have maths and then you have chemistry is that right now in physics you can see basically there are 58 topics and in chemistry you have basically 41 topics and in mathematics 32 topics that unbalance is because the manner in which the weightage is actually distributed for you to score really high and i just told you the importance of actually treating the subjects literally differently now if you look at physics well look at these topics these are the chapters these are those topics from which many questions have been asked so right from kinematics to newton's law circular work rotation fluids gravity ktg units uh, experiments properties of matter shm waves electrostatics current magnetism capacitors em emi ac ray modern semiconductors you can see 660 questions just in these 39 shifts it's insane how much you can score similarly if you look at mathematics the 32 topics right from sequence quadratic permutation these are the subtopics these are the chapters binomial pnc straight lines circles conics complex limits statics matrices sets application indefinite definite areas differential equations 3d probability and vectors similarly you have it for chemistry also mole periodic table chemical bonding thermodynamics and thermochemistry chemical equilibrium classification organic compounds reactions hydrocarbons practical chemistry kinetics radioactivity atomic structure p block goc solutions electrochemistry kinetics p block dnf block coordination haloalkanes alcohol phenols ethers aldehydes ketones amines nitrogen biomolecules amines nitrogen quantitative qualitative analysis 614 questions what did you say one thing in common though although the number of topics were different what was roughly similar yes the number of questions total number of questions 614 to you know this had around 662 to this had 660 so you will see overall when you study these topics in unequal amounts you will score almost the same right because total number of questions are same and you will get 99 percentile now this particular topics if you are not clear about sir i don't know this sir i don't know that and sir i want proper proper guidance sir a systematic plan sir and i want everything to be covered right from the proper teaching theory concept application with example with homework with doubt solving sir please teach me all these 131 topics i am ready to sit for the next couple of weeks and i will tell you i'll teach you all these things by december then my dear students tomorrow is that day 
which is 5th of November, 6 o'clock, where I'm going to reveal the Sigma crash for all of you, which is exactly this high weightage course. And that is the reason why if you have not yet gone to the channel and smash the like button on this particular video in the live section, you should do that right now because a massive revelation is going to happen. Already many students are waiting for it very eagerly. Many messages, many DMs just for this Sigma because they know why this course is very different from any other batch anywhere, whether online or offline, right? So these topics, if you want it under my guidance, my supervision, my mentorship, then this is exactly the one which you should be looking for. So quickly go ahead, mark your attendance and stay tuned for tomorrow's video on the channel 5th November. Thank you so much. This was your Captain Shreyas. I'll be giving you all these topics as well. Don't worry. Yeah, it's all there. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Captain Shreyas signing off.